that the universe is about 13 billion years old. What if it's not? Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Scientists have been searching for evidence of extraterrestrial life for years. And in this quest for exploring distant planets, the JWST has discovered something so extraordinary that it challenges everything we know about our galaxy's evolution. Has the JWST found evidence that the Big Bang never happened? And does this mean we must reevaluate our understanding of the universe and our planet's origin? It's time to unravel the mystery and determine if it all started with the Big Bang. Ever since the James Webb Space Telescope unleashed its brilliance onto space, astronomers have discovered startling details about one galaxy after another. However, its recent findings have been hailed as the mother of all discoveries because it threatens our standard cosmology model. Using data from the JWST's infrared instruments, astronomers have spotted what appears to be six massive galaxies from the universe's infancy. Scientists have estimated that each galaxy is seen from between 500 million and 700 million years after the Big Bang. That's pretty exciting news, isn't it? What's even more exciting is that some of the observations made by the JWST don't quite add up when we consider how cosmologists have modeled the evolution of galaxies in the early universe. For example, these galaxies are massive, almost 10 billion times larger than our Sun. In fact, one of the galaxies appears to be more massive than even the Milky Way, which is surprising as our galaxy has taken billions of years to form and grow. So how is it that these young galaxies already contain billions of stars so close to the Big Bang? A galaxy's formation isn't a quick or easy feat. It took the universe almost 350 million years to create the very first galaxies. These young galaxies were small and gathered mass over time, forming stars and expanding into space. This is what we know about the universe. But discovering ancient galaxies created shortly after the Big Bang and realizing that they are more massive than we had anticipated in our cosmology model raises important questions about the universe's evolution and whether the Big Bang happened when and how we think it did. American theoretical physicist Michio Kaku is just as puzzled by the JWST's groundbreaking discovery and wonders whether it's time to rewrite the standard model of cosmology and revisit our assumptions of the universe's formation. Believe it or not, the implications of this discovery are massive because the Big Bang Theory is the greatest achievement of humans in the last 100 years. Did we celebrate 100 years too soon? The Big Bang Theory is our leading explanation for how the universe began. Since our existing technology doesn't allow scientists to literally peel back at the universe's birth, most of what we understand about the Big Bang comes from mathematical formulas and models. Although it isn't possible to see the Big Bang, astronomers can see the echo of the expansion through a phenomenon known as the cosmic microwave background. Simply put, most of the astronomical community agrees with the theory of a Big Bang, and a tiny fraction is open to alternate explanations about how the universe came to be. According to this theory, the universe didn't exist 13.7 billion years ago. Instead, everything in the universe was condensed in an infinitely small singularity, a point of infinite denseness and heat. And suddenly there was a Big Bang, an explosion that resulted in the expansion of that singularity, ballooning our universe outwards faster than the speed of light. The drastic expansion, or cosmic inflation, only lasted for mere fractions of a second, according to physicist Alan Guth's 1980 theory, and it all came to a mysterious halt. What was left was a vast array of fundamental particles such as neutrons, electrons, and protons. These building blocks would reshape the universe into stars, galaxies, and other mysterious galactic bodies we see today. This early soup would be impossible to detect, but 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the afterglow would allow light to finally shine through. This light is referred to as the cosmic microwave background. When scientists look back at ancient galaxies, they can't measure their exact age. Instead, they measure what is called a redshift. This refers to the wavelength of cosmic light being stretched on its journey to Earth. If the wavelength hasn't stretched at all, it has a redshift of zero, but if it has been extended to double its original wavelength, it has a redshift of one. According to our cosmology model, the universe is constantly expanding, 
and the redshift is directly proportional to how much the universe has expanded between when the light was emitted and when it was observed. This is why redshift is crucial for space exploration. When scientists know how much the universe has expanded since the light was emitted, they can convert this expansion into a time or a distance. The redshift enables them to measure how far an exoplanet or galaxy is from Earth, and that's how astronomers determined how young the six spotted galaxies were. But why are the galaxies so massive so soon after the Big Bang? Did the universe expand much faster after the Big Bang than we have estimated? After all, galaxies would need to convert 100% of their available gas into stars if they were to form so fast at such a size. But such a high rate is unlikely as we typically see galaxies converting no more than 10% of gas into stars. Although a 100% conversion is theoretically possible, it pushes the boundaries of our calculations and assumptions. The JWST has presented astronomers with a true dilemma, and solving this riddle may ultimately broaden our thinking and understanding of the universe. There are a few possible explanations for what astronomers are seeing. Maybe the light we're viewing isn't actually coming from stars, but accretion. Accretion occurs when particles accumulate into a massive object due to gravitational forces, a phenomenon we know as supermassive black holes. If this is the case, the galaxies may appear much larger than they actually are. Another way to make sense of this situation is to assume that the conversion of light to stellar mass is incorrect and that astronomers are once again overestimating how massive these galaxies are. Finally, we may be underestimating the efficiency of early galaxy formation. There's a possibility that very early in our cosmic history, galaxy formation was different from what we see today. Maybe the universe could convert much of the available mass into stars in short periods. That would explain why we detect massive galaxies so close to the Big Bang. However, that would also mean it's time to revise our current models of galaxy formation. For now, scientists are being cautious because the galaxy's ages and masses are just initial estimates and will need to be confirmed through spectroscopy. A thorough analysis will reveal if central supermassive black holes make the galaxies appear brighter and larger than they are by heating their surrounding gas. There's also a possibility that the time calculation is inaccurate and the six galaxies aren't as young as astronomers previously estimated. After all, it could just be dust playing tricks on the color of the light from the galaxy and making it appear redder, creating the illusion of being more light years away. Suppose scientists can confirm their initial findings and prove these galaxies are as large and as young as estimated. In that case, we can expect major changes in our cosmology model, and it would be exciting to witness the domino effect throughout the field of science. Since the implications of this discovery are so massive, it's curious why not many scientists are talking about it. Why isn't this news getting as much attention and traction as it deserves? After all, the collapse of the Big Bang hypothesis is major news. Then why is no one reporting it? One probable reason is that funding for cosmology comes from very few government sources, controlled by specific committees. Big Bang theorists are the most influential members of these committees, and anyone who questions the standard model is simply not funded to further their investigations. Funding or not, James Webb is exploring space like never before, and its observations are enough for the entire scientific community to rethink the accepted models of cosmology. Let's not forget that humans came up with the Big Bang theory, and we can always create a new and advanced model to account for recent observations. If we can do it once, we can definitely do it again. Do you think the JWST's observations threaten our standard cosmology model? Let us know your opinions in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell for more exciting space news.